Things that would be nice to know as a beginner in Way of the Hunter. I hope that you guys, whenever you experience something, you go and put it in the comments down here. But these are the things that I have figured out or have had to ask somebody to help me figure out. Uh, how they work in way of the hunter because they did not make sense to me keep in mind that all of this has been recorded on the early access so it might have changed when it finally hit the live games first off there is no way to rebind your key bindings so the key binds you're getting are the ones that you're stuck with at least until we get a patch of some sort which means that uh, if you want to activate your flashlight you hit h if you want to crouch you hit c if you want to go to a prone position you hit C and hold it. Then, if you want to be uh, placing markers, you do that by hitting X. And I think that, in general, is the most important ones. The rest of the ones are going to be displayed in the left-hand bottom corner, where you can see objective, toggle, and a hunter sense when you're not scoped in. If you scope in, it tells you exactly what the scope does, where you can change your zeroing and such. Another thing that is also very nice to know in this game is that callers, whenever you start with callers, you only have one call for that caller. And for the deer grunt caller, it is a doe grunt. It attracts females. This I had to have help by uh, Ron McTube, <laughs> and uh, he told me that I should go into my character. If you want to unlock the other ones, you have to do it by unlocking the perks. This is also a good lead to talk about perks in a moment. So, if you want to get the other calls so you can lure in big males and such, you have to get the second level of calls available. And that means that we need to sell 10 animals that has been called in. You can see all the different perks in here and what they do. Third levels of calls available if you sell 30. And if you hit hard either long archery 50 times from a hunting stand, you'll get 30% bonus to sway, scent visibility and noise reduction while you're in a stand. And there is all kinds of different perks that you're going to be unlocking. Most of them you unlock by simply just playing the game. I've already unlocked this one. Hold your breath length increased by 25%. Simply hitting either long or hard or artery 10 times. And you can go in here and check all of them. There is some that is more important than others. This one right here to me is very very good because it makes me able to check my hunter senses without standing still So basically adds another level to how quick you can run around and hunt so you can be walking around and actually using your hunting senses if you want to go in and check some of the animals that you have uh, taxidermized, you can see them here. I have a big moose. I messed up the hunt, unfortunately, so I guess that's why I only got a 4 out of 5. But the trophy rating is 5 out of 5. And it's a huge 90.69 gene pool male we have standing in there. You can also replay the bullet cam by hitting F. Go in there and check that. You can actually scroll through your entire thing here my very first harvest was a 98.96 uh, badger and all the way down here you can see hollywood we ended up giving a uh, taxidermize i don't know how many it keeps track of i would imagine it basically keeps track of whatever you shoot so you can always go back and take a look right here we can see our uh, biggest moose which is a 90.69 and stuff like this is just cool but if you don't know it's here then you'll never find it also you can go in here and read basically about everything that you want to read about in this game i can uh, definitely advise you to go and read through them just get an idea of what is going on keep in mind that this one is kind of bugged as it is right now so definitely if you want to buy the sire pro hunter buy the v2 because uh, the v1 is only shooting the 243 as it is currently but this is also very useful information you can go back and uh, go through the comic books if you want to do that you can replay it it's a nice little uh, thing but you've seen it if you uh, are doing the main story mission you can also read about the different people that you're going to be encountering throughout your game you can read about the different animals as well whenever you encounter a new animal be it by finding a need zone or by uh, shooting it and picking it up you will unlock the encyclopedia from that animal and you can read all about that specific animal in this page as well as seeing the animal's tiers, where you then find the equivalent tier of the weapons. So far, we don't have any tier 2 animals, at least not on this map. You can see the grey wolf, mule deer and white-tailed deer is tier 5. American black bear and moose is tier 6. You can read about 
all of the uh, need zones and the weights and what they're uh, scored by their trophy ratings all of this is super good like these small things makes it so easy that also basically means that we don't need to go out and make a big spreadsheet to tell you exactly how these things are going so if you're looking for any information, there is a really good chance that you'll be able to find it in the uh, Enzyglobedia. I think it said something like that, right? <laughs> you can also go in and check your maps and your objectives. You have, If you want to be placing markers, you do that by C. If you want the tracking ones. Uh, which you basically can lay out a path that you want to be following. If you want to be placing down the exploration marker, then you hit F. Some of the uh, areas that you're going to be hunting on Way of the Hunter, you need a license. The license can be bought in the shop. Another thing that's also pretty good to know as a new player to the game is the fact that you actually start off where you ended last time. You don't have to spawn in at a lodge every time and then figure out where you want to go from there. Nope. I just spawned in in the middle of nowhere right out here where I'm on my way up to a lodge. This is a pretty decent thing, but it also does mean that you actually need to watch how many bullets and such that you do have. If you are ending up running out of bullets, go to your storage or the back of your car. Just open it up and you will have replenished your full stock of bullets. Another nice thing that I think a lot of you guys would like to know as well is that these small campsites around in the map can be used as fast travel points. Something you also want to be paying attention to is these though. On these signs, you will once in a while encounter these. Are you looking for a challenge? These are tasks. They're going to provide you with a challenge that you can then try to do now or later. If once in a while when you're out in the woods and all of a sudden you stop finding blood, now I have some right here, but for the purpose of this video, you can simply just go and hit up your photo mode. Take a little look from uh, up top, see if you can find any blood. Blood actually does stand out pretty well if you hit uh, good shots. So it's very easy to find with the photo mode and it can be a massive help, at least to new players. If you have any other good tips about Way of the Hunter, leave them in the comments down below and then I hope we can help out a whole lot of people getting started with this beautiful game.